a CO2 cartridge packs a lot of punch into a little package. This one can propel dozens of shots. To make one, they unroll some steel and straighten it out. Then, a punch press descends with 110 tonnes of force, cutting the steel into discs. Simultaneously, a machine moves up from below to shape the discs into cups. The cups move down a vibrating lane. They're delivered to a series of cylindrical punches, each one with a smaller diameter than the last. Each successive punch lengthens and narrows the cups, as nozzles flush them with lubricant. The process is called redrawing, and at the end of it, the cups look more like test tubes. In just a few minutes, the steel has undergone several transformations. To continue shaping the tubes, they heat the ends by dropping them through an induction coil. Intense magnetic fields excite the molecules in the metal, causing it to heat up rapidly. This machine is called a necker. As it revolves, it delivers the tubes to a series of dies that pinch their ends. With each pinch, the ends get progressively smaller. This creates necks in the tubes. As the diameter of the neck narrows, the tube takes the shape of a bottle. Now, each cartridge goes on a lathe. A cutting tool plunge cuts the neck to shorten it. Then it carves out a lip. The cartridges now head through a washing station, where soap and water get rid of the oily lubricant. A trip under some gas burners dries them off and they head to the filling station. Here, there's a tank full of carbon dioxide. The filling head pumps liquid CO2 into the cartridges and then caps them. The gaseous form of CO2 in the cartridges is under great pressure. Releasing even just a little through a gun will be enough to propel things like pellets and paintballs. They do spot checks to make sure the cartridges are tightly sealed. Now it's on to the next station, where they'll be made to look shiny and new. Cartridges are inside this revolving drum, which delivers an electrical charge, attracting zinc from the tank to plate the cartridges. The smooth zinc plating doesn't just look good, it's a better surface to print information on. At this rotary silk screening station, the brand name and cautionary information are printed onto the sides of the cartridges. A quick bake under an ultraviolet light cures the ink. And these CO2 cartridges are now ready to demonstrate the power of compression. Be sure that's a paintball gun. Always check, and don't do this at home, kids.